So the Philadelphia Eagles, as we know, took a horrible loss. I'm still trying not to think about it. Took a horrible loss to Dallas last week. And lost advantage of first place. Now, all is not lost. No, all is not lost. Why? The remainder of the season is going to be beautiful. So, peep this. Meat and potatoes situation is this. No guts, no glory. The remaining schedule, we should go seven and nine. Do you hear me? Are you understanding what I'm saying? We could go seven and nine, end up ten and six. And looking at the Cowboys schedule, Oh, I ain't got them doing nothing better than eight and eight. All we gotta do is tighten up. All we gotta do is tighten up. So all this chit chatting, all this broad stuff, all this feminine pointing fingers and crying and whining ain't getting it done, ladies and gentlemen. Lane Johnson, shut your mouth. Get your little country bumpkin behind back on that line and defend Mr. Wentz. You sucked on Sunday. Everybody saw it. You got exposed. You had bad games last year. You had bad games the year we won the Super Bowl. Tighten up. Let's go. Put your big boy pants on. Shut up. Rest of the offensive line needed to tighten up. Wentz was running for his life the past four games. Period. Them wide receiver divas. Aguilar. I saw that tape, bro. You was running your mouth like a bird. You see, I was running, man, and then, you know, I don't know what happened. He Maybe he was rushed, but that ball wasn't there. How you going to put him on blast when you the one keep dropping the balls? Everybody see it, bro. Wentz got a cannon. He putting the ball in your area and you dropping them jones. How many jones was clearly straight in your hands? Let alone you had to run all crazy for him and you dropping them. Stop playing, buck. Tighten up, man. You not living up the expectations. You know it. You know you want a chopping block. Tighten up, man. Alshon Jeffrey. What can I say about Alshon? I love you, boy. You helped us win a Super Bowl. But you helped us lose last year, too. And I think you got a problem with Mr. Wentz. So if you got a problem with Mr. Wentz, I think he needs to be gone. Trade deadline coming up. We can excavate the situation. We can trade him and get a cornerback or something like that. We can get an asset that we need and then go get another good wide receiver. Because you ain't been doing nothing crazy this year anyway, bruh. You got a lot of drop ball, a lot of drop balls, Mr. Jeffrey. Yes, yes. Your hands have become unreliable. Call a spade a spade. So, uh, tch, you, you, you don't look like you worth the millions you getting right now. Now, let's get into this schedule. Eagles this week. We got the Bills and Buffalo. Offense that they have is eh, their defense is top notch. If we can pull together and get this win and get some momentum, it's on. Everybody think we're going to lose this game. Maybe so. I'm going to have confidence going with my birds. That's one win. Next game. We are at the Bears. I'm sorry. We got the Bears at home. Yeah, we should win that one. We owned the Bears the last couple of years. We at the crib. Trubisky look like trash. They don't know what they doing. Nagy and them drawing. Going to be a fight, but I got us winning that one. We play the Patriots and the Seahawks back to back after that. At the crib. Let's just say for argument's sake, we lose both of those. Or at least one of those. After that, we got the Dolphins. The Giants, the Redskins, the Cowboys at home this time, 
and then the Giants to end the season. We're going to keep it a bean. Even if we don't trade and get nobody, we should be able to win all of them games except for the Patriots and the Seahawks game. Maybe you could say the Cowboys, but I got us getting this drone at home. We we sick about that. So that means we'll end up seven and two in these last nine games that'll give us ten and six for the season. Now, if you go to Dallas record, they ain't winning. Listen, man, they gotta play the Giants. They're gonna win that one. Then they gotta go to Kirk Cousins. Well, no, Kirk Cousins and them got to go to Dallas. Kirk Cousins balling right now. He got something to prove. And the Vikings got a great defense. I'm saying they lose to the Vikings. After that, they got to go to Detroit. Let's say that's a win for argument's sake. Then they go to New England, loss. Play Buffalo, loss. They play Chicago, win, maybe. Rams. Loss, us, loss, and then they're going to beat the freaking Redskins to end the season. So guess what that'll put them at, ladies and gentlemen? Eight and eight. Or seven and nine. Listen, man. Eight and eight. We will win this division. Even if they get nine wins out there, that means we win the division. As long as we win that home game against them. Listen, man. We can get it done. Stop crying. Make it happen. Howie, go get Patrick Peterson or go get Chris Harris Jr. Stop playing. Stop being El Cheapo. Cut that check and get them boys over here. We need some help on Jalen Mills and Darby because they're the only two good, real cornerbacks we got. They ain't the best in the world, but they're the only ones we should be keeping right now until Cravon and Max get back. And they ain't coming back till like another four or five weeks. So listen, go get Maddox. Cravon, Mills and Darby some help. Go get Harris or Patrick Peterson. We need a real number one. And I know you probably think about another pass rusher, but you definitely need to go get a speedster to open up this offense because we can't rely on d right now. When we get him back, we get him back. But go get somebody now. Robbie Anderson, uh, A.J. Green, make it happen, bro. Cut that check.